Hey guys, welcome to Protocol as Point. Okay, so in this photo tutorial, we're gonna create a drop down with a hovering effect. So as you can see, this GIF image. So here is a drop down with a list of items in it. So when a user just hovers on items, so you can see it is getting highlighted with a slight animation. So in this tutorial, we're gonna create this. So let's begin with the tutorial. So let's move to our Android Studio to build this. Okay, so here I have created a new Flutter project by name Flutter Hover Example and I have removed all the default code given by Flutter team, the counter code. Okay, so I just removed that and I have created my stateful widget by name drop down page as we are going to create a drop down list. Okay. Okay, so first of all, let's create a drop down list. So here is a drop down page. So over here, we will just create a drop down list. So just make use of a scaffold widget. Let's give a app bar. Okay, so now in the body tag, let's create a drop down. Uh, let's bring the widget at the center of our screen so for that i'm making use of center widget and in center widget we will just make use of a child widget and the child widget will be drop down button drop down button so here in drop down button so there are various properties such as value uh, initial value of this and items like this so let's create some items first okay so here i have created a list of animal names uh, and the initial value will be the first item of this that is lion data first dot two string so initial value we will pass over here and the item we need to pass and to pass the items we will just make use of a map mapping Okay, so to make mapping data dot map strings so here we are going to build a list of widgets that is uh, drop down menu items so let's uh, convert this to to list okay and this requires a return return drop down menu item okay so here in menu items we will just build a text widget text widget and inside the text widget we will show our items dollar item let's give some uh, size to this text widget let's give it 20 okay and there is one more property that is on changed when the user changes the items of the list by selecting the item should get changed value and here we will make use of state set state with initial value we will set it to the user selected value okay so it is showing an error so let's check it out okay so here drop down value items Okay, so even this is showing an error. Okay, null safety. Let's try this. Semicolon. Okay, so now let's uh, restart this app. Okay, so app got restarted. So as you can see, this is the app bar. So it has a drop down with our list of items. So the user can select item from this. Okay, but you can see there is no hovering effect. So there is side default hovering effect as you can see. But there is no, but uh, we need to uh, apply the customized hovering effect. So let's do it now. Okay, so to give a customized effect to this, so customized hovering effect to this button, drop down button. So let's create a custom uh, stateful widget and name it as hover on hover import material dot dart let's make a stateful widget on hover okay so here we will just define our uh, hovering effects so for that first of all let's create a final variable 
that is widgets functions boolean is hold builder so let's initialize this with a constructor generate constructor builder okay so the builder has been initialized so just change this to required property so this is required okay so now to detect when the user uh, hovers over this items so we must make use of a uh, mouse range so let's use it mouse range so in mouse range there are various properties you can check just press control and press the key so here as you can see there is on entry on exit to detect whenever the the user means the mouse pointer hovers over this items okay so let's use it on enter okay so for now we will just print some data okay and then we need a child for this uh, mouse range so for that we will make use of animation control cont container animated container so animated container we must set the container duration for animation duration we will set it to millisecond uh, to 300 something and the children widget dot builder dot uh widget builder and the is hold okay so is hold uh, data we need to create that is boolean is hold and initially we will set it to false okay so now we need to give a animation effects to this container so let's create some variable for animation purpose final hold is equal to matrices matrix for dot identity and we will just translate from 10 x axis as 10 0 uh, y axis as 0 and z axis 0 okay and now just create a final transformation transform if it is hold if it is hold then apply the hovering effect else we will just move the uh, animation container back to uh, its position okay so now what is happening over here is we are just making use of a variable to store this data from where to where it should get trans translated from it need 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 to move from a uh, zero degree to x degree of y 10 okay and when it is hold we need to apply this transformation and when it is not hold it is it should come back to the original position so now let's make this variable transformation transformation okay so hovering part is ready so our uh, custom animation part is ready so this is the code so now we need to apply this uh, hovering effect in our uh, drop down menu item in our text widget so for that just wrap this text widget with our on hover okay so here we need to pass a builder so in builder is is hold and here we need to pass our text widget so just remove this child return text widget okay so let's check it what happens 
So I will just restart the app again. Okay, so you can see the drop down is been shown. So now you can see, you can see when I end when I hover the item so you can see it is showing entry exit okay so you can see here here okay so now here in the hover on hover dot dart page here we may make use of is hover to change the uh, property so first of all let's create uh, that change this hovering effect it will make true or false so let's create over here void on entered boolean is hold set state this dot is hold is equal to hold okay so now we need to pass this function true or false so to pass this true or false here when the user enter this mouse region we need to pass it on enter make it true ok so it's showing an error ok and when the user exit the mouse area we will just replace it with false ok so now if I restart the app so now you can see there is a animation effect ok so let's change the color of this text widget so for that in your uh, main.dat file over here in the builder we must create a color property final color is equal is hold if hold is true then we will change the color to blue else we will change the color black to black ok and now just apply this color to our text widget color color ok I have restarted the app again so now you can see when I hover you can see the animation effect while I hover the text ok so that's all for this video tutorial so you can get the whole source code on my website uh, protocoderspoint.com ok so I will just show you the code so here you can just visit protocoderspoint.com uh, for got a drop down with hovering effect so you can see I have just added all the source code over here so you can just copy paste from here if you want Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Uh, please do subscribe Protocol as Point. Thank you.